Hi, I'm Rebecca J. Venton. Welcome to my knit and crochet channel. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Tunisian um, knit stitch with a crochet hook. It, it actually really looks just like a knit stitch. All right. So to get started, let me explain a little bit about it. You use a crochet hook and you're going to be using the length of it. it. The crochet hook comes in different sizes for this project. Um, now this one, seeing that it's not that wide, if I want to do like small squares, I use just a regular crochet hook. But they also come longer for, you know, maybe like a placemat or something like that. Or, just like in the circular knitting needles, they have a long plastic cord that will be attached to it. That way you can actually do a blanket one size. But today I'm just going to show you on just a regular hook. So the secret for doing this, because it does have a tendency to curl as you can tell, but when you look at your package, like I'm using Red Heart, and it calls for an eye hook. So what you do is you go up two or three um, hook sizes and this is an L because it called for an, um, an, let's see, an I. So, but I like to go up three and as you can tell it, it, it still makes a nice look. Now if I would have went with the packaging that it called for, look how much it curls compared to this. And there's and no way to get around it. It just wants to curl. So when you block it, if you choose to, this definitely will be a lot easier to block than this. <laughs> so they always want you to go up two to three sizes in the hook. And that's why. All right. Let me leave it there so you can just sort of see what's happening. All right, so to start, do your slip knot. And I know I say, every time I tell you, do it loosey-goosey. Believe me, I mean it <laughs> this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm just going to chain seven, um, just so you have an idea of what to do. So you're going to go into the chain, but you're going to keep it on the hook. And I have to give a little bit of a tug because then that makes the loop not so tight. Just that and a little tug. All right, and do that with every stitch that's on the chain. Yarn over, or go through, yarn over, pull through. All right. So... I had chain seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there is seven on my hook. So any number that you want on your um, stitch wise on your pattern is how many chains you're going to do. Now, um, what you're going to first do is chain one. I mean, not chain one, I'm sorry. Yarn over and go through one loop. Now that is something that you have to do each time you start a row. Don't ask me why, it just has to be done. Just don't forget to do that. Okay, and now, this is something that has to be done too. Everything else on here, you're gonna yarn over and go through two loops. One, two. Yarn over, two. Yarn over, two. Remember, loosey-goosey. I know it looks super holium but look at it. it doesn't end up that way so don't be afraid in the beginning yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through the last two now for the next row we already have our first one on here already so don't worry about this loop here because it's already there so for the next loop here is make it look like a knit stitch. Here's the loop. You're going to go in, in that hole, underneath this top bar. 
So go all the way through, grab, yarn over, pull through, give a slight tug so you can, so the tension isn't tight. Yarn over, oh no, I'm sorry. It's starting to crochet again. Okay, and then go in the next one. Find the hole under that bar, go through the loop, like it's a knit stitch. Go through there again, pull just a little bit. And you can see what I'm doing here, I hope. Go through again, yarn over, pull through. And then this last one, here we go. We're going to go through that. Okay. Now we're going to have seven on here again. And like I said, the first one always just do one. And now go through two again. Okay, there's two, yarn over two, yarn over two, yarn over two, yarn over two. There's two rows. Now it's starting to look like it. Okay, so we are skip the first one because it's already here. Here's the next one. Yarn over, pull through. Give it a little tug to loosen the tension. Do it again, go under that bar, go in between what looks like a knit stitch. Tug it a little, go in again, there we go. Alright, get some more yarn. Oops, sorry about the camera, if I hit it. Okay, and the last one is always a little bit sketchy, but there you go. Alright. So, want to yarn over the first one. Yarn over two. And two. And two. Loosey goosey. Don't forget, so important with this. Alright. Now, as you can see, we're starting to see knit stitches up here. Okay? Let me do it one more time so you can see just a little bit better. And hope I'm not going too fast for you. Okay. Yarn over, we'll only go through one, then two, then two. And two. All right. And there you go. Look how nice that is. Definitely worth learning. All right. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.